This is our Thrustmaster T3PA pedal set, and we're gonna adjust it a little bit. So we're going to be swapping the springs around a little bit, and then we're gonna install the uh, optional uh, the resistance for the center. So first step, I think we're gonna to, to open it up. We're gonna to have to take the pedals off, and that is just a little Allen key. Uh, we've started taking them off already, so they're only in there lightly. Now we're going to notice here, without the pedals for different leverage, there's different resistance when you push on each one of these. So the weakest would be the throttle, the stiffest would be the brake, and the middle just right would be the clutch. So what we're going to do, because they're going to have that on the center, you're not going to need a super strong return spring. So we're going to put the lightest spring in here, and then we're going to put the, the second heaviest spring the middle weight spring on the throttle and we're going to put the heaviest spring on the clutch um, our real car is a uh, it's got a heavier clutch feel so that should feel pretty good so you really gotta give it a proper boot into it to uh, to clutch Let's start by flipping it over and we have some screws to undo Start with the ones up the top. There's some little ones in these holes here. Okay, that's all the screws we can see. And that should just, yes, there we go, lift off. Okay, and then we have the connector here. Let's wiggle that. And the board is off. Now we can start looking at modifying our pedals. The middle is a brake pedal and that's the stiffest spring so we're going to take that one off uh, and we're going to put the stiffest one where the clutch is. And then we'll be swapping the soft one for the, of the throttle with the stiffer one for the brake because the brake's going to have the uh, support bracket behind it so it's going to be stiff anyway.
lift that out. And there's the spring. Spring. That's the stiffer brake spring. We'll put that in the middle so we know that that was the brake spring. Now, this is the throttle. Throttle pedal spring, a bit dirty, so we'll give it a little cleanup. Okay, third and final, that's the clutch. Okay, it's time to swap springs. So remember, we are back to front. So instead of this being, this is the throttle, this is the brake, this is the clutch. We want the throttle light spring on the brake. We want the medium spring from the clutch on the throttle, and we want the heavy spring from the brake on the clutch. There we go. Now we just gotta put these back in the same way they came out. to get these bottom screws started. And we'll get one of the top ones started. Because this has a stiffer spring in it now, just need to uh, put a little extra pressure on it. That one's done, go around the rest, do them all exactly the same, and uh, we'll check back when it's all done. Okay, three pedals are back in after the springs are swapped. I've also installed the little cone brake assist. Uh, pretty easy, just kind of drops down underneath the uh, little metal tablets in there. And then while it was off, I just put a screw in here. I put a little bit beefier one than what comes with it. Nice stainless screw and that's cranked down. So now I'll put the back on here and uh, put the pedals back on. 
how do the pedals feel after the change? Fantastic. That's really nice and heavy on the clutch, just like our real car. And then the brakes gives a light pedal and we've got it adjusted with the stopper so you get the firm feeling at the end, just like a properly well-bred set of brakes. So worth changing those little springs around, that's for sure.